Another thing which creationists really hate is evidence for evolution is bad design. And almost any animal or plant is just a mess if you cut it open and look at it inside. You can pick out numerous features of our bodies, our bad backs, the way childbirth occurs, the recurrent laryngeal nerve, etc. Here's just one example. The prostate gland is a miracle of bad engineering. Only a moron engineer would design an organ that's prone to swelling that surrounds a collapsible pipe, okay? <laughs> It's simply bad design. It makes no sense from an engineering standpoint. It makes perfect sense from an evolution standpoint because we know from embryology and other things that the prostate gland evolved from the walls of the urethra that it surrounds. The implication of intelligent design is that that is a very, very bad engineer. Think of the example of the human eye. The neurons that register the signals in the retina are inside the eye. So for those signals to go to the brain, these nerve cells get collected in the optic nerve. The optic nerve has to cross the retina. So we have a blind spot. I mean, an engineer who have designed an eye with the optic nerve having to cross the retina will be fired. An engineer that we have designed the human jaw will be fired. Our jaw is not big enough for all our teeth. So we have to pull the wisdom teeth and very often have to straighten the others. God making this trivial, obvious mistake and errors of the sign. Well, maybe their God does those things, certainly not mine. There's a nerve called the recurrent laryngeal, which runs from the brain, and its end organ is the larynx, and you think it would just go straight there. But in a human, what it does is goes down into the chest, loops around one of the main arteries in the chest, and then goes straight back up again. Obviously a ridiculous detour. No engineer would ever make a mistake like that. What I'm actually holding here is the beginning of that nerve. It actually starts out not as a separate nerve, but as a branch coming off of a bigger nerve called the vagus nerve. And this is going to keep running all the way down the body. So you'll see it again over here, all the way down the neck on both sides. So you can see it again right there. Yes. And right over here, there's a branch right yes. there. So it's looping and it's coming yes. back. It's doing a U-turn all the way down here. So it's traveled that entire distance to make a U-turn to go all the way back up again. This is the voice box, the larynx, and so you can see it going right into the back of the larynx here. Interestingly, where it ends is pretty close to where it started. It started here, coming out of the brain. It really only needed to go about two inches. Yes, amazing. But it went all the way down yes. and came yes. all the way back. Yes. This is not an intelligent design. No. An intelligent design would be to go from here to here. Fish really don't have much of a neck, yes. so there isn't any extension to worry about in a fish. It just goes directly there. Once you introduce a mammalian neck, and you start to get a longer neck, now, the heart is displaced down lower. Remember that a designer, an engineer, can go back to the drawing board, throw away the old design, start afresh with what looks more sensible. A designer has foresight. Evolution can't go back to the drawing board. Evolution has no foresight.